Konnichiwa. It's Olive from me below. Hajime masho. And we're next to this window because <laughs> we're poor and can't afford proper lighting. Yeah, she said no. So today I'm gonna meet up with an old friend and we're gonna try and see if we can do something fun in Nagoya, aka the most boring city in Japan. Let's go. herself the new Hitler. <laughs> Why is this the beginning of the article? Stalking a man and sending him over 65,000 texts in less than a year. What the hell? She looks so normal though. Why? How to date an overthinker? <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes 500 in just one day. This is me. This is me internally. Don't ever try to leave me. I'll kill you. I don't want to be a murderer. <laughs> Don't be her, but I don't think you're there yet. That's good. We repeat it here, it doesn't get better. <laughs> it doesn't get better after chat. <laughs> So we're just gonna take a moment to appreciate what garbage I am. We're just here having a nice chat, eating some food, and then you notice that you've spilled all over yourself. Is it bird poop or are you just a mess? Wow. <laughs> okay, good morning everyone. Today I actually have a job interview. Mentato! This is my second one of the month. Woo for money. So. I'm, I'm too early because I'm nervous. My interview is just back there in that building over there. And while I'm waiting, I thought I'd sit in this park. Pretend I'm gonna feed the birds, but I have no money, so I can't eat either. So you can't eat, sorry. The interview I have today is for an Eikaiwa. And for those that don't know, an Eikaiwa is an English conversation school. Eikaiwa, Eikaiwa, Eikaiwa. I may have experienced working in a high school, but it's the easy foreigner job if you don't speak Japanese. I'm kind of nervous. I don't even have my resume because I'm a piece of trash and don't have money to buy it at the konbini. <laughs> I'm poor, let me work. I think maybe in a few minutes I'm gonna go. So afterwards I'll tell you what happens. So I'll see you later. So school's done. So I can tell you about how the interview went. And maybe what you could prepare for if you're also gonna go to an AKYA interview. I was gonna do this a lot earlier. I was gonna do it when I went to lunch, but then I was too hungry. I was gonna do it when I went to school, but then I was too annoyed because school's way too kantansugi right now. F school, F this life, and we're gonna go to karaoke. And then I was gonna do it at karaoke, but. I was with my friend and I was trying to blow off stress. So now's the time we're gonna do Setsumisuru about Eikaiwa interviews. At the Eikaiwa interview, 
I went in, they kind of showed me around the building, they had me wait in a room for the interviewee interviewers to come. Uh, the whole time we were doing this in Japanese actually, because as soon as I came in they were like, oh but you can like speak Japanese right? And I was just like, so this neh. Didn't have enough time to be like, oh mother mother this. So everything was done in Japanese from the beginning. I understand, I understood. Let's use our English skills. <laughs> I understood most of it, but I was a little nervous when we actually sat across the table from each other and it was like, all right, here's the time. We're gonna start the real interview. And it's like, <sighs> I feel more comfortable if we do this in English. So we were doing the interview. They asked me really, really basic questions. How long have you been in Japan? When did you first get here? Do you have any experience? And I was thinking that they were gonna ask a little bit more, you know? I was just thinking they were gonna ask me, you know, oh, why don't you give us a demo lesson or show us your profile? Wow. No, they were just like, how many years? Two. We transitioned in the interview to English for the last part. So she was giving me questions in English. And again, they were really basic. And they were the exact same questions they, that they had just asked me in Japanese. So I'm assuming that they were just checking my Hatsuo, seeing if I'd be able to be understood by the students. So other than that, they really didn't ask me anything else. They were like, yeah, this is the pay. This is the time. When are you available? What's your visa? And me also thinking they were gonna ask more questions about my visa and they did not. I don't know why I was so worried. How to date an overthinker. <laughs> How was all that happened today? Very surprising. I have another interview though tomorrow. Your girl is trying to grind. This one is an actual teaching demo lesson though. One for elementary school kids and one for junior high school kids. So I'm a lot more nervous. I was gonna say a little, but that'd be a lie. A lot more nervous. So I'm gonna go to that one tomorrow and then I'll also give you an update about the kinds of things I have to do at this next interview and how it's different or not different. Kamarimas. So, see you tomorrow. If you can't even communicate properly when you're not even hired yet, who knows what's gonna happen to you. Because if it's real children, right? You're like, hey, kids are kids, whatevs, you know? If it's adults and they're acting like little brats for you, can we tone this down a little bit? Take it down. All right, thank you.